Sell and Be sponsored by DCAE. We're so um, happy to have you all here this morning, so proud of our spellers. My name's Tara Campbell, I'm the uh, language arts specialist for Douglas County School System, and I'm really excited to be uh, helping out and be a part of the Spelling Bee this morning. Um, we're going to start by just introducing a few people, welcoming a few people, and then um, we'll hand it over to the judges shortly and be underway. Uh, first of all, thanks to um, Rick Martin and TJ, TJ Jelinski. They're our courthouse liaisons here. Rick, um, back here, thank you so much for um, helping us organize all of this to be here this morning. Got you through the security without a lot of problems, so that was wonderful. And um, TJ was the guy that was just talking to me a moment ago, and on TV you won't see him because he's the one that's making sure that we get to have this televised. So thanks to him and um, our courthouse folks for, for hosting us. Um, also, I want to thank all the people on my team. So many people from the curriculum and instruction department are here helping this morning. So um, if you're sitting down and you're at the curriculum department, go ahead and stand up. And then a lot, many of them are standing up because they're working. And let's thank you, team. Please. Thank you. So it's great, it's great to have a team. Everybody just shows up and pitches in and you saw all the um, work that they were doing this morning to help make this run smoothly. So we have um, four distinguished judges up here that I'm going to also introduce. Um, starting down on your left, we got Mr. McKeith Cordell. <laughs> Mr. Rebecca Jackson. <laughs> Ms. Vicki Burnett, she is the lead judge and caller and um, Ms. Nikki Mason. So these are four of our outstanding high school teachers that we are so fortunate to have teaching and then fortunate to be able to um, give them a little bit of time away from their classrooms this morning and uh, participate in something like this. So thank you so much, judges. You think you're nervous. This, everybody's nervous about this because we all want everybody to win <laughs> and nobody wants to mess up, even if you're a judge or you're me. So we're all, it's like when Mr. Martin got up earlier and um, Mr. Rick, he said uh, it, he liked the feeling of nervousness because it reminded him he wasn't alone. So, um, Oh, I want to recognize our alternates also because that you all alternate, many alternates are here this morning supporting your school, um, supporting the person who won for your school, and also, of course, to step in in case they weren't able to get here. And um, your role is really important. And also, you won runner up for the spelling bee in your school, and that deserves great recognition. So, alternates, please stand up and let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you for coming out. All right, thanks. So next I'm gonna have our spellers introduce themselves and we're, they're gonna pass a microphone on down the line and tell you, um, tell you their name and what school they're representing. My name is Jay Bartell. Kylie Sutton, and I'm representing Turner. My name is Suba Chandrasekharan, and I'm representing Fair Play Middle. My name is Alexander Martinez, and I am representing Lithia Springs Elementary. My name is Sayla Rimmer, and I'm representing Factory Shoals Elementary. My name is Ezekiel Stevenson, and I'm representing Burnett Elementary. My name is Imani Grandois, and I'm representing Sweetwater Elementary. My name is Keon Lindley, and I'm representing Billard Elementary. My name is Jarrell Hill, and I'm representing Bright Star Elementary. My name is Alan Salas Ramirez, and I'm represent representing Annette Wynn. My name is Chissy Hecker and Matt, and I'm representing Mason Creek Middle. My name is Nina Nana, and I am representing Chapel Hill Elementary School. My name is 
Juliana Philogene, and I'm representing Eastside Elementary. My name is Masai Nathari, and I'm representing Chapel Hill Middle. My name is Olivia Riley, and I'm representing Winston. My name is Caleb Nuff, and I'm representing Factory Shows Middle School. My name is CJ is the Accor, and I'm representing Brighton Academy. My name is Amaya Nelson, and I'm representing Yeager Middle School. <laughs> My name is Ajay Brooks, and I'm representing New Manchester Elementary. <laughs> My name is Desiree Roberts, and I'm representing Mirror Lake Elementary. My name is Evan Gist, and I'm representing Beulah Elementary. My name is Kristen Green, and I'm representing Holly Springs Elementary. My name is George Berganza, and I'm representing Chestnut Log Middle School. My name is Cedric Frazier, and I'm representing Stewart Middle School. My name is Brady Dever, and I'm representing South Douglas Elementary. My name is Harper Ellis, and I'm representing Arbor Station Elementary. My name is Paul Kay, and I'm representing Mount Carmel Elementary. My name is Caitlin Nation, and I'm representing Dorset Shoals Elementary. Yeah, clap big, clap big. That was... <sighs> All right, we're going to get this started. I'm going to hand things over to our judges at this point, and uh, just take deep breaths and enjoy. Here are the rules for the 2020 Douglas County School System Spelling Bee. In the B, spellers shall pronounce the word both before and after spelling it. However, no speller will be eliminated for failing to pronounce a word. Failure to capitalize a word or recognize grammatical markings will not be penalized. When a speller fails to spell a word correctly, he or she must step out of the B. A different word shall be given to the next speller. After having started spelling a word, the speller shall not be given any opportunity to change the letters once pronounced. The speller may retrace the letters of the word from the beginning only, providing no letters or their sequence are changed from those first pronounced. If letters and or their sequence are changed in this respelling, the speller shall be eliminated. The speller may ask the caller to say the word again, define it, use it in a sentence, provide the part of speech, give alternate pronunciation and or provide the language of origin of the word before attempting to spell it. Root word questions will not be entertained by the caller or judges. No other information about the etymology or history of a word shall be provided. The caller shall grant all requests until the judges agree that the word has been made reasonably clear to the speller. The judges may disqualify any speller who ignores a request to start spelling. If no definition of a homonym is provided by the caller, the correct spelling of either word shall be accepted. When a definition or sentence is given, the speller must spell the word the, the correct word. The judges will determine if the word was spelled correctly and if incorrect, will provide the correct spelling. In an oral vocabulary round, the pronouncer reads aloud the vocabulary question and all the options, but does not indicate which is correct. The speller may then answer the question by providing one, the letter associated with the chosen answer, two, the chosen answer, or three, both. If the correct answer is identified by one, associated letter alone, or two, by answer alone, or three, by both correct letter and correct answer, the speller is correct. Speller's request, the pronouncer responds to the speller's request for the question and or answer options to be repeated. The pronouncer may also provide the spelling of a word in question. Homonyms, if a word has one or more homonyms, the pronouncer will indicate which word is in question by, the spelling, by spelling the word aloud. In an oral spelling round, spellers shall pronounce the word both before and after spelling it. However, no speller will be eliminated for failing to pronounce a word. Failure to capitalize a word or recognize diacritical markings will not be penalized. Webster's third new international dictionary unabridged online shall serve as the final authority for the spelling of words. If any question related to the procedures of the spelling of a word should be referred to the judges immediately. 
The deadline for making an objection is before the affected speller would have been, would have received his or her next word had he or she stayed in the B. No audio recording, video recording, photography, webcasting, or streaming of the spelling, state spelling bee is permitted without express permission, for example, press reporters. Flash photography will only be allowed before and after the bee and during the practice round. In all fairness to spellers who are already at various levels of nervousness, extraneous noise from small children, excessive coming and going, talking, et cetera, could pose a distraction and prove very unfair to them. Please respect the B's process and the spellers and do what's necessary to eliminate such distractions. No objection shall be entertained after the B is terminated. An objection may be filed by a parent, legal guardian, or school representative of the affected speller. This designated person is the only one who may object on behalf of the speller during the B. Only the designated person for a speller may voice an objection for his or her speller, and the objection can relate only to his or her speller. To object properly, only the designated person should stand and remain standing until recognized by the spelling bee coordinator. The spelling bee coordinator or designee will collect the objection form and, if necessary, confer with the judges to make a decision. The judges and the GAE spelling bee committee are in complete control of the bee, and their decision shall be final on all matters. If only one speller in a round spells correctly, that speller will be declared a finalist. All spellers eliminated in that round will resume spelling in their original order until only one spells correctly. That speller will be declared the other finalist. If all spellers are eliminated in that round, those spellers will be reinstated and resume spelling in the original order until two finalists have been determined according to rule. Upon missing a word, the speller should sit in the second row waiting area until the end of the round to see whether they will be called back up. At the end of that round, if more than one person remains on the front row, students on the second row will be dismissed to sit with their family or with their school officials. Thank you. Now we begin the practice round. Number one, if you'll come up. <coughs> Jumbo. Jumbo. J U M B O. Jumbo. That's correct. <laughs> Number two. Mister. Mister. Can you use that in a sentence? Pardon? I couldn't hear you. Can you use that in a sentence? Yes. Uh, hey, mister, would you like to buy some cookies? Mister. M-I-S-T-E-R, mister. Correct. <laughs> Number three. Ladybug. Ladybug. L A D. Y, B, U, G, Ladybug. Correct. Number four. Nacho. Nacho, N, A, C, H, O, Nacho. Correct. <coughs> Number five. Keyhole. Keyhole. K E Y H O L E. K. Keyhole. Correct. Number six. <coughs> Flute. Flute. Eh? L U T E, flute. Correct. Number seven. Bagpipe. Bagpipe. B A G P I P E, bagpipe. 
Correct. Number eight. Bother. Bother. B O T H E R. Bother. Correct. Number nine. Honeybee. Honeybee. H O N E Y B E E. Honeybee. Correct. Number ten. Foxes. Foxes. F O X E S. Foxes. Correct. Number <coughs> eleven. Glimmer. Glimmer. G L I M M E R. Glimmer. Correct. Number twelve. Golden. Golden. G O L D E N. Golden. Correct. Number 13. Savvy. Savvy. S A V V Y. Savvy. Correct. Number 14. Eggplant. Eggplant. E G G P L A N T. Eggplant. Correct. Fifteen. <coughs> Relish. Relish. R E L I S H. Relish. Correct. Sixteen. Shrimp. Shrimp. S H R I M P. Shrimp. Correct. 17. Purse. Purse. P U R S E. Correct. Boycott. Boycott. B O Y C O T T. Boycott. Correct. 19. Knock. Knock. K N O C K. Knock. Correct. Twenty. Moose. Moose. M O O S E. Moose. Correct. Twenty one. Holiday. Holiday. H O L I D A Y holiday. Correct. Twenty-two. <coughs> Cartoon. Cartoon. C A R T O O N. Cartoon. Correct. Twenty-three. Guess. Guess. G U E S S. Guess. Correct. Twenty-four. <coughs> Chowder. Chowder. C H O W D E R. Chowder. Correct. Twenty-five. Coffee. Coffee. C O F F E E. Correct. Twenty-six. <coughs> Ginger. Ginger. G I N G E R. Correct. Twenty-seven. <coughs> Bonfire. Bonfire. B O N F I 
are a bonfire. Correct. <clears throat> 28. Whisk. Whisk. W H I S K. Whisk. Correct. 29. Widget. Widget. W I. G E T widget. That's incorrect. There's a D, but this is a practice round, so you will continue on. Okay. Um, and the next round is a practice vocab round. You guys, if you will be ready to come up without being called, so if you could kind of stand close by so we could go a little bit quicker, um, that would be helpful. You understand? Okay. Uh, so we're going to the practice vocab round number one. All right, the rules for the vocabulary round are as follows. The caller will read aloud the word, the vocabulary question, and both options A and B. The caller will respond to the speller's request for the question and or answer options to be repeated. A speller may answer the question by providing the letter associated with the chosen answer, the chosen answer, or both. So the first word is cosmos. What does cosmos refer to? A, a punctuation mark used for division in a sentence, or B, the universe conceived as an orderly system? B. That is correct. <coughs> Fatigue. What is fatigue? A, nervous physical exhaustion, or B, nervousness? A. That is correct. Tsunami. A tsunami is A, a love letter, B, a tidal wave. B. Correct. Extravaganza. What is an extravaganza? A, a smorgasbord, or B, a lavish event? A. That is incorrect, but this is a practice round. It's a lavish event. Gondola. What is a gondola? It is A, a pendulum, or B, a boat? A. Uh, that's incorrect. It is a boat. Okay. But this, again, this is a practice round, so you're not eliminated. Next. Contraband. What is contraband? A. A seemingly unrhyming composition, or B, goods it is forbidden to import or export? A. It is, that's incorrect, it is B. Ventilate. What does it mean to ventilate? A to expose to air, or B, to speak damagingly of another person? B. Uh, that is incorrect. It is to expose to air. <coughs> Haiku. Haiku is a type of A, root, B, poetry. A. No, it's poetry. <coughs> uh, 
flamboyant. A person described as flamboyant is A, showy and unrestrained, or B, an excellent dancer. A. Correct. Entourage. An entourage is A, a passageway, or B, a group of attendants. B. That is correct. Portfolio. Who would be most likely to carry a portfolio? A, a chef. B, an art student. B. Correct. Rouge. Rouge is a type of A, injury, B, cosmetic. B. Correct. Harmonica. What is a harmonica? A, a wire stringed keyboard, or B, a small rectangular wind instrument? B. Correct. Bookkeeping. What does bookkeeping refer to? A, accounting, or B, library work? B. That is correct. Oh, that's incorrect. Sorry, it's accounting. <coughs> Balcony. What would you most likely find, where would you most likely find a balcony? A, at a deli, or B, at a theater? B. Correct. Panic. A person experiencing panic feels A, a sudden terror, or B, relaxation. A. Correct. Reptile. What is a reptile? A, a copy of something else, or B, an animal that crawls or moves on its belly or short legs? B. Correct. Timely. Something that's described as timely is A, done slowly, or B, done at a suitable time. B. Correct. Uproar. An uproar can be described as A, loud, or B, smelly. A. Correct. Bongo. A bongo is a type of A, drum, B, primate. A. Correct. Tragic. What does it mean to be tragic? A, mysteriously enchanting, or B, related to a disastrous event? What is my word? Tragic. A. That's incorrect. <coughs> guru. A person described as a guru, guru is A, a spiritual guide, or B, a personal servant. A. Correct. Sombrero. A sombrero is a type of A, shoe, B, hat. B. Correct. P. 
piccolo. A piccolo is a type of A, bread, B, instrument. B. Correct. Skipper. A skipper is in charge of A, a track and field team, or B, a fishing boat. B. Correct. <coughs> Etch. What does it mean to etch? A, to outline a business plan, or B, to produce a design through scratching on metal or glass? B. Correct. <coughs> canary. A canary is a type of A, Water passageway, B, bird. A. Uh, that's incorrect. It's a bird. Gruff. A person described as gruff is A, stern, B, bunny. A. Correct. Nosiest. Something described as the nosiest is the most A, prying, B, prideful. B. Um, that's incorrect, but this is a practice round. It is prying. At this point, the actual game begins, and at this point, you can be eliminated. Number one. This is spelling. Theme. Theme. T-H-E-M-E. -E. Theme. Correct. Quack. Quack. Q U A C K. Quack. Correct. Cricket. Cricket. C R I C K E T. Cricket. Correct. Squirm. Squirm. S U U I R M. Squirm. Correct. <coughs> Treadmill. Treadmill. T R E A D. M I L L treadmill. Correct. <laughs> Crayon. Crayon. C R A Y O N. Crayon. Correct. Cowlick. Cowlick. C O W L I C K. Cowlick. Correct. Turnip. 
turnip? Turnip. T U R N U P. Turnip. That's incorrect. Permafrost. Permafrost. P E R M A F R O S T. Permafrost. Correct. Okay, so we're stopping for a minute. Number eight, can you come back up? So, give him another word? No, he, he got it correct because he said it as two words. Okay, so we think you misheard and you spelled turn up instead of turn up, and so we're going to keep you and give you another round, okay? Because there is a homonym to it. So come back under the front row, okay? Okay, what number was I on? Y'all help me. Okay, thank you. Abandon. Abandon. A B O A B A N. D O N, abandon. Correct. This word has a homonym. The word is Sunday. The word is a noun and it means an ice cream served with a topping. Sunday. S U N D A E. Sunday. Correct. Do you want me just to announce that right now? I did not hear it. You can't re you can't retrace that. So he re when he corrected himself, you can't correct yourself. Okay, and that was not, he was number ten. Okay, I'm sorry, number ten. The judges heard you initially spell incorrectly and then correct yourself. And even though you were correct when you corrected yourself, you can't do that. You have to say the words, uh, the letters correctly the first time. And so you're eliminated. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, number 12, your word is daughter. Daughter, D A U T A T E R. Daughter. Correct. That's correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. 
This word is omen. It is a noun, and the definition is an occurrence or phenomenon believed to portend or show or uh, the character of a future event. Spilling the salt was an omen that pointed to a bad day ahead for Nick. Omen. Omen. O-M-E-N. Omen. Correct. <coughs> Pattern. Pattern. P-A-T-T-E-R-N. Correct. Can you come help this little girl? Okay. This word can be confused with a similar word. The word is novelist. May I have the definition? The, it's a noun, and the definition is a writer of invented prose narratives of considerable length and complexity that deal, with, uh, that deal imaginatively with human experience through a connected sequence of events. Anson's favorite novelist is John Green. Novelist. Mm. Novelist. N. O V E L I S T novelist. That's correct. <laughs> this word has a near homonym. This word is badger. It is a verb. It means to harass, pester, or bedevil persistently, especially in a manner likely or designed to confuse, annoy, or wear down. Badger. Badger. B-A-D-G-E-R. Badger. Correct. <coughs> this word has a homonym. This word is alpha. It is an adjective. It means socially dominant, especially in a group of animals. In social animals, the alpha animal is the individual in the community with the highest rank. Alpha. Alpha. A L P H A. Correct. This word has a homonym. The word is dough. It is a noun. It means a mixture of flour and other ingredients stiff enough to knead or roll. Dough. Dough. D-O-U-G-H. Dough. Correct. Sword. This word has a homonym. Sword. It is a noun. It means a weapon with a long blade for cutting or thrusting, set in a hilt, usually terminating in a pommel, and often having a tang or a protective guard where the blade joins the handle. Sword. Sword. S W O R D. Sword. Correct. Number 21, would you like to come in? Are we waiting for number 20? She's coming.
bribery. Bribery. B R I B E R Y. Bribery. Correct. Penguin. Penguin. P E N G U I N. Penguin. Correct. Casino. Casino. C A S I N O. Casino. Correct. Bristle. Bristle. B R I S T L E. Bristle. Correct. <coughs> Developer. Developer. D E V E E V E L O P E R That's okay. This word has a homonym. The word is cough. The word is a verb. It means to expel air from the lungs suddenly with an explosive noise, usually in a series of efforts. Cough. Cough. <coughs> C-O-U-G-H. Cough. Correct. This word has a homonym. This word is boorish. It is an adjective. It means characteristic of or relating to a rude, clumsy, insensitive, or boring individual. Unrefined. Boorish. B-O-R-I-S-H. That is incorrect. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is carnival. This word is a noun, and it means a traveling enterprise consisting of such amusements as sideshows, games of chance, and rides, a circus. Carnival. Carnival. C A R N I V A L Carnival. Correct. <coughs> Kangaroo. Kangaroo. <coughs> K A N G A R O O. Kangaroo. Correct. Garment. Garment. G A R M E. Wait, what is the Can you pronounce the word again? Can I pronounce the word again? Is it <laughs>
I'm sorry, I can't. But she can start you over. Can so you can start over at the beginning. Okay. G A R M E N T. Correct. This concludes round one. The second round is spelling. The third round will be vocabulary. If you're on the second row and you'd like to go sit with your family, you may. Uh. <laughs> Galaxy. Galaxy. G A L A X Y. Galaxy. Correct. Ingredient. Ingredient. I N G R E D I A N T. Ingredient. That is incorrect. Manifesto. Manifesto. May I please have the definition? Yes. A public declaration of intentions, motives, or views. Manifesto. M-A-N-I-F-E-S-T-O. Manifesto. Correct. Jubilant. Could you use it in a sentence? Yes. The home team's fans were jubilant when the batter hit the winning home run in the bottom of the ninth inning. Jubilant. J-U-B-I-L-A-N-T. Jubilant. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is gelato. It is a noun, and it means a soft, rich ice cream, ice cream containing little or no air. Gelato. J-A-L-A-T-O. Gelato. That's incorrect. Guardian. Guardian. T A U R D I A N. Guardian. That's incorrect. <laughs> Inclusion. Inclusion. I N C L. U S I O N inclusion correct <coughs> balderdash can you please repeat that balderdash balderdash b oh okay balderdash balderdash b a L D E R D A S H, Balderdash. Correct. 
Aromatherapy. May I please repeat it? Aromatherapy. Aromatherapy. A R O M A T H E R. A P I E. That's incorrect. Cattail. Can you repeat it? Cattail. Oh. Cattail. C A T T A I L. Cattail. Correct. Mangrove. Mangrove. M A N G R O W T H. That's incorrect. Hmm. Conductor. Conductor. C O N D U C T E R. Conductor. That's incorrect. Prejudice. <clears throat> G. P. Hold on. Prejudice. P. R. E. G I D O U S. That's incorrect. Caravan. May I have the definition? Yes. Uh, it, it is a group of vehicles proceeding or traveling together in a file. Can you please repeat the word? Caravan. 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 C. A R E V A N caravan. That is incorrect. Goliath. Goliath. G O L I A T H. Goliath. Correct. <coughs> Riviera. Riviera. R I V E R A. That's incorrect. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is pilferer. It is a noun. It means one that takes articles of small value, a petty thief. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. The pilferer of pencils and paper from the office supply closet was identified on surveillance tape. Pilferer, P-I-L-F-E-R-E-R. That's correct. Jamboree. Jamboree. G. J. A. M. B. O. R. E. E. That's incorrect. This word has a homonym. This word is gram. Gram. Wait, G wait. R. I want let me tell you. This is an adjective and it means made wholly or largely of whole wheat flour. Gram. 
Graham. G R A M. Graham. That's incorrect. Firmament. Firmament. F I R A M E N T. Correct. It wasn't? Hold on. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It was incorrect. Deodorant. Deodorant. D E O D O R A N T. Deodorant. Correct. Officiant. Oh, hold on. This word has a homonym. The word is officiant. It is a noun. It means a priest or minister who performs a prescribed religious service or ceremony. Officiant. Officiant. O F F I C I. E-N-T, efficient. That's incorrect. Marooned. Can you repeat the word? Marooned. Sentence, please. Uh, it is a verb, and it means abandoned on the shore on a desolate island or coast and left to one's fate. Maroon. M A R O O N E D. Maroon. That's correct. Number 23, where are you? Because the phone went off when you were spelling your word, come back up and we're going to. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is a noun. It means an ornamental tower at one of the angles of a larger structure, a turret. Turret, T-U-R-R-E-N-T, -E turret. That is incorrect.
Okay. Extinguish. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. During the 4th of July festivities, it was Georgia's responsibility to extinguish any embers or fires after the for fireworks had been set off. <coughs> extinguish. Extinguish. E. X. T. I. N. G. U. I. S. H. Extinguish. Correct. <laughs> okay. Could please uh, implore you double check your phone. I know no one. I'm not calling people out. Nobody wants their phone to disrupt the child. Nobody does. So please just double check if there's any chance that your phone's gonna make a noise. Thank you so much. This word has a homonym. This word is gauntlet. This word is a noun. It means a reinforced glove used with armor during the Middle Ages and evolving with such armor to become the, in the 14th century, a covering of small minutely articulated steel plates for the back of the hand, a gauntlet. Will you repeat that? Oh, the word. The word is gauntlet, gauntlet. G. A U N T, -T L E N T gauntlet. That's incorrect. <clears throat> this word could be confused with a similar word. This word is vacuum. It is a noun. It means a space partially exhausted by an air pump or by any of various other artificial means. Vacuum. Vacuum. <clears throat> V-A-C-U-U-M. Vacuum. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is calico. It is a noun. It means a blotched or spotted animal. Calico. Calico. C-A-L-I-C-O. Calico. Correct. Correct. That concludes round two. If you're on the second row, you may go sit with your parents. The next round is a vocabulary round.
reply. What does it mean to reply? A, answer in words or writing, or B, to try again? A. Correct. Your word is manger, M-A-N-G-E-R. A manger is A, a person who conducts or supervises, or B, a trough for cattle feed. Uh, could you rep uh, repeat the choices? A, a person who conducts or supervises, or B, trough for cattle feed. B. Correct. Brim, your word is brim, B-R-I-M. It means A, the edge of a cup or bowl, or B, any of various leguminous shrubs. A. Correct. Snarl, S-N-A-R-L. What is a snarl? A, a contrivance to catch an animal, or B, a tangle of hairs that's hard to unravel? A. That's incorrect. Grub, G-R-U-B. Another word for grub is A, food, B, cleanser. A. Correct. Grits, G-R-I-T-S. Grits are A, grains such as maize or barley which have been holed and ground or b small carnivorous animals with grizzled fur and slender bodies a correct your word is jangled j a n g l e d if something is jangled it a, shone brightly, or B, sounded harshly? B. That's correct. Flustered. Another word for flustered is A, muddled, or B, relaxed? A. Correct. Adrift, something done adrift is done A, with reassurance of the final outcome, or B, without controlled movement. Can you repeat the choices? A, with reassurance of the final outcome, B, without controlled movement. B. Correct. <coughs> Your word is marinate. M-A-R-I-N-A-T-E. What does it mean to marinate? A, to roll or compress into a thin plate. B, to steep meat, fish, or vegetables in a brine. B. Correct. Pardon, P-A-R-D-O-N. A pardon is A, forgiveness of a fault or offense, or B, a European crab often used as food. 
A. Correct. Levies. L E V E E S. Levies are A. Embankments designed to prevent flooding, or B. Those who float in the air, especially in seeming defiance of gravity. A. Correct. <coughs> disembark. What does it mean to disembark? A. Leave or go ashore from a ship, or B. Split into pieces or smash? B. That is incorrect. That concludes round three. The next round will be a spelling round. And yes, if you're on the second row, you should go to Shake. Oh, wait. This word has a homonym. Sh your word is shake. It is a verb. It means to clasp hands. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Mm -hmm. Marta always takes the time to meet her fans and shake their hands. Shake. S H A K E. Shake. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is proof. It is a noun. It means evidence operating to, de to determine the finding or judgment of a tribunal. Proof. Proof. P-R-O-O-F. Proof. Correct. Stark. He is in a sentence. Mm -hmm. The landscape in Death Valley is as stark as it is beautiful. Stark. S T A R K. Stark. Correct. Burlap. Burlap. B. B. E. R. L. A. P. Burlap. That's incorrect. Secret. Secret. S. E. C. R. E. T. Secret. Correct. Special. Special. S P E C I A L. Special. Correct. <coughs> Honest. Honest. H O N E S T. Honest. Correct. Health. Can you repeat the word? Health. Wait, can you use it in a sentence? Yes. When Ethan was sick, it was always his mother who nursed him back to health. Health. H E A L T H. Correct. Health.
sprawl. Sentence, please. To see all the children sprawl on the ground as they tried to participate in the yoga class was a hilarious sight. Definition? Yes. To lie or sit with arms and legs stretched out carelessly or awkwardly to spread out. Sprawl. S P R A W L Sprawl. Correct. Certain. <clears throat> Certain. C E R T A I N. Correct. Certain. This word has a homonym. This word is plumbing, it is a noun. It means the pipes, fixtures, and other apparatus concerned in the introduction, distribution, and disposal of water in a building. Plumbing. P-L-U-M-B-I-N-G. Plumbing. Correct. This concludes round four. If you'd like to join your parents or teachers at their seat, you may. Ancient. Ancient. A N C I E N T. Ancient. Correct. Tapestry. Tapestry. T A P E S T R Y. Tapestry. Correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. This word is squawk. It is a verb. It means to make a loud, harsh, abrupt, raucous outcry. Squawk. Squawk. S Q U You said squawk? S Q U A W K squawk. Correct. Parcel. P A R C E L parcel. Correct. Commotion. Commotion. C O M. M O T I O N. Commotion. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is furrow. It is a verb. It means to till as if to plow, to cultivate. Furrow. Can you say it in sentence? Yes. The farmer had to furrow the soil with the plow before planting the seeds. Furrow, F-U-R-R-O-W. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is smudge. It is a noun and it means a blurry spot or a streak, a splotch, a smear, smudge. Smudge, but can you use it in a sentence? Yes, Philip's teacher refused to accept his homework 
because of the lar large smudge across the answer column. Smudge. S M U D G E. Smudge. Correct. Garland. Can you repeat the word, please? Garland. Sentence? Yes. Clementine solemnly placed a garland of daisies on the statue's head while the choir sang the school song. Definition? Yes, it means a wreath of leaves or flowers to be worn on the head or used to decorate an object. Garland. Garland. G A R L E N T. Garland. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Cottage. Cottage. <clears throat> C O T T A. G E cottage. Correct. Shepherd. Shepherd. S H E P H E R D. Shepherd. Correct. That concludes round five. If you'd like to join your teachers, you may. The next round is vocabulary. What number was that on? Levy's disembark hymnal. Let's go with 16. Okay. Heritage. What is heritage? A. The property brought to a husband by a wife according to feudal customs upon their marriage, or B, a legacy? B. That's correct. Periodically. If you do something periodically, you do it A, with your eyes closed, or B, from time to time? B. That's correct. Reluctant. Another word for reluctant is unwilling, A, A, unwilling, or B, amenable. A. A is correct. Apprentice. An apprentice is A, a person who is trained to learn a trade from a skilled worker, or B, Something added to a more important thing, an appendage. A. That's correct. Hymnal. A hymnal is A, a collection of church songs, or B, an elaborately designed tapestry. B. That's incorrect. Bayonet. A bayonet is a large window projecting from the outer wall of the building, or B, a weapon. B. That's correct. Prestigious. Another word for prestigious is A, honored, or B, evocative. B. That's incorrect. Intriguing. Another word for intriguing is A, fascinating, or B, appalling. A. Correct. Solace. I'm going to spell it because there's a homonym. S O L. A C E. What is another word for solace? A, bluff, or B, console? B. That's correct. 
That concludes round six. Wow. You guys can go back. Surmised. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Sam surmised that it was bedtime by how dark it had become outside. Surmised. Can you say the definition? Yes. It means imagined without certain knowledge, inferred on slight grounds, formed a notion of on slight proof, Guest. Surmised. S. U R M I Z E D. Surmised. Correct. No. Oh, it's, it's incorrect. I'm sorry. Ramparts. Could you repeat the word? Ramparts. Ramparts. R A M P A R T S. Ramparts. Correct. This word has a homonym. This word is garnet. This word is a noun. It means a brittle mineral usually red in color and occurring mainly in crystals, used as a semi-precious stone and as an abrasive, garnet. Garnet, G-A-R-N-E-T, garnet. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is amino. This word is an adjective. It means relating to or containing the group NH2 or a substituted group NHR or NR2 united to a radical other than an acid radical, amino. Amino, A-M-I-N-O, amino. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is teak. It is a noun. It means the hard, strong, durable, yellowish brown wood of a tall East Indian timber tree planted in West Africa and tropical America for its wood. Teak, T-E-A-K. Correct. Luggage. <clears throat> Luggage. L U G G A G E. Luggage. Correct. This word has a homonym. This word is Terry. It means, uh, it is a verb. It means to delay or be tardy in acting or doing to procrastinate, to dawdle, to tarry. T-A-R-R-Y, tarry. Correct. Throttle. Throttle. T-H-R-O-T-T-L-E, throttle. Correct. Braid. This word has a homonym. It is a verb. It means to utter a characteristic, loud, harsh cry used of a donkey. Braid. 
Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. When the donkey brayed, it sounded like it was saying Eeyore. Hence, the name of the donkey from Winnie the Pooh is Eeyore. Braid. B R A Y E D. Braid. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is transistor. It is a noun. It means an electronic device consisting of a small block of a semiconductor on which are placed three electrodes and that conducts electrons moving in one direction and in the opposite direction. Transistor. Transistor. T-R-A-N-S-I-S-T-O-R. -S -S Transistor. Correct. It's your turn. Amplify. Amplify. A M P L I F Y. Amplify. Correct. Juncture. Juncture. <clears throat> J U N. C, T, U, R, E, juncture. Correct. Vacancy. Vacancy. V A C A N C Y. Vacancy. Correct. This concludes rounds seven and eight. If you want to go sit, and you guys are awesome. <laughs> You really Exploits. Exploits. E X P L O I T S. Exploits. Correct. Barrier. Barrier. B A R R I E R. Barrier. Correct. Gradingly. Could you repeat that word? Gradingly. Uh, could you use it in a sentence? Yes. The sound of the fingernails being scraped down the board fell gratingly on our ears. Gratingly. G R A T I N G L Y. Gradingly. Correct. Your word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is sheriff, it is a noun. It means an important county officer in the United States who is usually elected by the people of the county as the chief executive officer of the courts of superior jurisdiction therein. Sheriff. Sheriff. S-H-E-R-I-F-F. -F, sheriff. Correct. <laughs> Your word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is Angus. It is a noun. It, is, it means any of a breed of black or red hornless beef cattle originating in Scotland. Angus. Angus. <clears throat> A-N-G-U-S. Correct. Scoundrel. Scoundrel. S C O U N D R E L. Scoundrel. Correct. Next round. Harlem. Harlem. H 
A R L E M, Harlem. Correct. Depot. Could you use it in a sentence? Yes. Andrew took a bus to the depot and then he walked the rest of the way home. Could you give the definition? Yes. A depot is a bus station. Depot. D I P O? Depot? That is incorrect. Trifecta. Trifecta. T R I F E C T A. Trifecta. Correct. Hazmat. Hazmat. H A Z M A T. Hazmat. Correct. Antarctic. Antarctic. A N T A R C T I C. Antarctic. Correct. Turbulent. Turbulent. T U R B U L E N T. Turbulent. Correct. This word has a homonym. This word is appetite. It is a noun. It means one of the instinctive desires necessary to keep up organic life, especially the immediate desire to eat when food is present. Appetite. Appetite. A P P E T I T E. Appetite. Correct. Ignoble. Ignoble. I G N O B L E. Ignoble. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is archives. It is a plural noun. Archives. It means oh. It means repositories for any documents or other materials, especially of historical value. Archives. Archives. A R C H I V E S. Archives. Correct. Palindrome. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Ada struggled to contrive a palindrome centered around her own name. <clears throat> palindrome. P A L E N D R U M. Palindrome. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Anagrams. Anagrams. A N A G R A M S. Anagrams. Correct. <clears throat> Lacrosse. Could you give me the definition, please? Yes. It is a game that is played on a turfed field by two teams of 10 players each of whom use a long-handled stick with which the ball is caught, carried, and thrown with the object, I'm sorry, and thrown, with the object being to throw the ball into the opponent's goal. Lacrosse. Lacrosse. L-A-C-R-O-S-S-E. Lacrosse. Correct. Abundance. Abundance. A B U N D A N C E abundance. Correct. This word has a homonym. 
This word is haughty. It is an adjective. It means disdainfully proud or overbearing, arrogant, haughty. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. He walked about with a sense of grandeur, but she saw right through his haughty manner. H-O-T-T-Y? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Colossal. Colossal. C-O-L-O-S-S-A-L, -S -S colossal. Correct. All right. If you guys want to go sit with your parents or teachers, you may. Oh, yeah. I have no idea. What did she say? Hey everybody, I just wanted to make sure that um, before we finish that we recognize that we do have our top three right here. So why don't you three stand up and go ahead and turn around and just let's breathe for a minute. Let's breathe. Um, two of them will, uh, the top two will be allowed to continue on to the regional B. Um, and then whoever is in third will be the alternate and also um, strongly encouraged to attend in case one of the other two aren't able to participate. Our district sergeant, that we're allowed to have two people actually participate in the regional B. So let's find out who that's gonna be. Himalayan. Himalayan. H I M A L A Y A N, Himalayan. Correct. Calamitous. Can I have the definition? Yes. Um, it means it's an adjective, it means marked by distress, affliction, or disaster. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Dean tried to forget the calamitous events of the day and get some much needed sleep. Calamitous, C-A-L-A-M-I-T-O-U-S, calamitous. Correct. This word has a near homonym. This word is palladium. It is a noun. It means something that affords effectual protection or security. Palladium. Palladium. P-A-L-L-A-D-I-U-M, palladium. Correct. are so good we've run out of words we have to go to another stack hold on just a minute okay so I was going to 63 you want to go to 42 okay 42 Infatuation. Could you repeat the word? Infatuation. 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 Yes. 
Uh, could you give me the definition? Yes. It means a strong and unreasoning attachment. Could you read the word one more time? Could you repeat the word? Infatuation. Infatuation? Mm-hmm. Infatuation? No. Infatuation? Correct. Okay. I N F A T U A T I O N, infatuation? Correct. This word has a homonym. This word is cuckoo. It is a familiar European, oh, it is a noun. It is a familiar European bird that is noted for its characteristic two-syllable whistle and for its habit of laying its eggs in the nest of other birds for them to hatch. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. C-U-C-K-O-O. -O. Correct. <laughs> Syllabus. Syllabus. S-Y-L-A-B-U-S syllabus. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. For competition between two finalists, when a round results in only two spellers who have correctly spelled their words, they will be declared the finalists. When one finalist misses a word, the other finalist will spell the next word on the caller's list. If the contestant spells that word and the next word on the list correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If he or she misspells either of those words, the other finalist will be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. If that event, I'm sorry, if that finalist spells the next word and the next word correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If both finalists misspelled their word, both shall continue in the B and the one who first misspelled his or her word shall be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. Objecting. When only two spellers remain, an objection must be made immediately before the second speller has started spelling the word given him or her. No objection shall be entertained after the second speller has started spelling the word or after the competition is terminated. The judges and the spelling bee committee are in complete control of the bee. Their decision shall be final on all matters. Attendee. Could you repeat the word, please? Attendee. Attendee. Could you give me uh, the definition? Yes. It means one who is present on a giving occasion or at a given place. Could you uh, say it in a sentence? Yes. Sam is a regular attendee of his favorite soccer team's home games. Could you repeat the word one more time? Attendee. Attendee. A T E N D E E. Attendee. That's incorrect. Centipede. Centipede. C E N T I P E D E. Centipede. That is correct. One more. Okay, so. This word could be confused with a similar word. This word is fondant. It is French. It is a noun. It means a soft, creamy preparation of sugar, water, and flavorings that is used as a basis for candies or icings. Fondant. Fondant. F O N D A N T. That is correct. Wow, congratulations. That's so awesome. So we have, um, we're going to get all three up here. Mr. Paul O.K., am I saying your name correctly, sir? Come on up. So everybody, thank you. Our alternate. Our, our second place winner, 
Suba Chandra Saken. I'll try again later. Come on up, Suba. Thank you, our runner up. And she will also be able to participate. And our champion, Chisa? Chris, don't say it. I'm, I'm gonna say it right. Your, was your first name Chisa? Is that correct? And your last name? Ehekorema. Chisa Ehekorema, come on up. She is our winner. Congratulations, Chisa. Ms. Swinger is picking out the trophies. So proud of these guys. So Suba and Chisa will um, be allowed to move on and participate at the regionals. And we hope that Paul will attend as well um, to enjoy the experience and accept that honor and in case either of them is unable to participate. I uh, want to thank the uh, DCAE for their sponsorship. So let's give the D and yes, they're waving right there. Thank you, DCAE, for your sponsorship of the B and everyone for hanging in there to the end with us. Have a wonderful day. Y'all don't leave. We gotta take pictures and give your parents some stuff. Thank you so much.